In the morning, my friends, how are you today? Welcome to the St. Mark Bemidji's podcast, the podcast that makes your coffee taste as good as it looks on those TV commercials. If you like what you're listening to right now, you can subscribe to it on your phone or on your computer and listen to us four times every week. If you're watching our YouTube video podcast, you can also click the little bell and be notified the moment a new podcast is published. You can share it with a friend, too. If you look in the podcast description on the app that you're using, no matter which one it is, in every episode, there is a share link for you to email or text to a friend. I've tried to make it super obvious. Let me know if it isn't, or if you just want to say hi, at john.kirk at stmarksbemidji.org. We're well into Advent now, and there are so many profound and fun things happening at the church. We have a weekday Advent services at 6.30 p.m. on Wednesdays. The Wednesday service on the 14th of December is a good time to dust off your pipes and sing your favorite Christmas hymns. If you got a young musician at our church, there's a good chance they'll be performing on Sunday the 18th before our ch- children's Christmas service. And, yes, our young thespians will be showing off their skills and knowledge of God's Word during that same service, which starts at 9 a.m. And, of course, on the 24th, at 6.30 p.m., we'll have our traditional Christmas Eve service, followed by a Christmas Day celebration and divine service at 9 a.m. Go ahead and Sneak some of those little tiny marshmallows into your hot chocolate, snuggle up to your imitation fireplace, and let's ponder the word of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. My text for the first week in Advent is Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 to 11. When they had approached Jerusalem and had come to Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, And immediately you will find a donkey tied there and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord has need of them, and immediately he will send them. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, gentle, and mounted on a donkey, even on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did just as Jesus had instructed them, and brought the donkey and the colt, and laid their coats on them, and he sat on their coats. Most of the crowd spread their coats in the road, and others were cutting branches from the trees and spreading them in the road. The crowds going ahead of him, and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. When he had entered Jerusalem, all the city was stirred, saying, Who is this? And the crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. This is my text. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Jesus comes to us in the gospel, in baptism, and the absolution, and especially in the Holy Supper. He has marked these for us. There you will find him. There you will receive his gifts, not just for Christmas, but for eternity. It begins now. None of Christ's gifts are missing. Where there is true repentance, there is forgiveness of sins. Where there is forgiveness of sin, there is the grace of God. Where the grace of God is, there is Christ. Where Christ is, there is Christ's merit. Where Christ's merit is, there is satisfaction for sin. Where there is satisfaction for sin, there is justification. Where there is justification, there is a glad and quiet conscience in peace and reconciliation with God, certain that God is not some angry judge, but a loving God as he is who is plentiful in mercy and delights to forgive. Where there is peace of conscience like that, there is the Holy Spirit. Where the Holy Spirit is present, there is the ever-blessed Trinity. And where the Holy Trinity is, there is victory over death and the certain hope of the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Therefore, where there is true penitence, 
there is life eternal. Repent the outside influences. Repent your desires for the world. Word and sacrament is where Christ daily and richly delivers to you the forgiveness of your sins until you and all believers reach the life to come. Advent. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's all there is for today, but we are so happy you took a few moments out of your busy day to listen to God's Word with us. Please consider subscribing to our podcast to hear more devotions like this, Monday through Friday, and to hear our Sunday sermons as well. We also cordially invite you to join us for church every week at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website at www.stmarksbemidji.org.